Hi, I'm the Vixen from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10. Hi, I'm Dina Riz from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 4. Welcome to Queer Table. Please remember to follow us on all social media platforms. And remember, sharing is caring. And remember to subscribe to the Patreon. The link is in the description. And make sure you're supporting your queer arts, okay? Okay. <laughs> now, shall we proceed? Yes, yes indeed. indeed. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel as though homophobia is more prevalent in some communities as opposed to others? Definitely. There's homophobia mainly in, you know, like the, the Trump supporting communities and different mm -hmm. things like that. People who are more conservative side and just, yeah. Right? Yeah. I was going to say it's very big in the black community. It's very big in the Latino community. It's very big in the Christian community. It is very big in the business community. It is very big. Um, poor community. In the poor community. Yeah. yeah because it is not economic to be a bottom. You know, it is very... <laughs> <laughs> you ain't speaking nothing but facts. But it's interesting because I think gay people tend to have a lot more disposable income and that's where the jealousy comes from. I think mm -hmm. y'all just let Zion got kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Describe your own personal style in five words or less. Kawaii. Scary, weird, me, weird. <laughs> 80s, um, Indian, black, white, buckles. Buckles? I peep the California oh, shirt. That, that is very nice. <laughs> is that the case? <laughs> buckles. Ooh. Skin, skin, pink, femme, and black. I love the color black. That's a I love wearing black. Monochromatic. Layers, accessories, eyewear, um, soft mask. I like that. soft <laughs> mask. I like masks too. They're very in style. Right now. <laughs> okay, what was your worst hookup experience? Ooh. Don't all jump in at the same time. Oh, that's what I said. Come on. I had a night where I like, it was like, I I left one. I wasn't satisfied. So I went to another. Um, oh my God, I just had a night. <laughs> <laughs> but I got there to find that he was trying to fuck me in a bando. And I said, oh no. Oh. Now when you say bando. Okay, we were in this apartment complex. And as I'm pulling up, I'm seeing him like walking to the apartment building. So I'm like, did you go for a morning jog? Like, okay, maybe you want to get some blood pumping. That's cute. And then I like, oh, it cool. means an abandoned building? Yes. Oh, that's so gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Walking to the apartment and he just opened the door and I very quickly was just like, oh, this is like, this is a house on the apartment. Yeah. That's his like fetish. <laughs> to, 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 to. No, maybe he don't. He live with his mom. Oh, that, <laughs> uh, that is very possible. And I was not. Mm -mm. I was not. So I went home. Because places that don't have heat have fleas. Ooh. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. that does. <laughs> he couldn't. The toilet wouldn't flush. I was like, I can't even pee. Mm -mm. <gasps> oh no. My worst was probably like. Uh, I'm just so gagged on that. I'm so gagged on that right now. We're gonna this way because we were like. <laughs> <laughs> My worst was probably like the dude like kept trying to like hold my head and stuff down, like physically hold me down, and I was I wasn't for that. So 
and a rum boy. Oh That's kind of like mine. Like the very first time I ever tried poppers, like you know, <laughs> poppers, like. I heard of them. <laughs> so I took a little bit too much. I had like. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Got a little way in my nostrils. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Don't try to stay at home, kids. Yeah. Try it at the club with your friends. Yeah, yeah. I was in a whole different world. And I told him, I was like, chill out. He got to the point where he was like forcing me to do stuff. Poppers? Yeah. He was like, no. I was kind of like getting, yeah. I don't know. Ooh, it was yeah. just too much for me. Be careful with these PMP people. Yeah, yeah, because mm-hmm. honey, that those 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 uh those poppers will have you on the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> and then the floor. <laughs> and then I'll and then I swallow the floor if you know what I mean. Oh no. PG show, I know. And then the um also be careful. Bring your own poppers. The girls tea. Be adding, the girls be adding th- tea. tea. The girls mm-hmm. be adding things to their poppers. Don't take everybody's poppers. Yeah, I'm allergic to teach you all, so I don't play <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're the worst. Oh my god, it was the worst. This dude, okay, so this dude, he like had a whole bunch of snakes. Like, I, I love snakes. I, sorry, sorry, I know, I know. Unpopular opinion. <laughs> I, I, have, I have a couple myself, and I was like, and this dude was like, hey, so, I, I was, I'm like, I want to, do you want to buy a snake? I'm like, okay. I came over, this guy was obviously just all over me the entire night. I was like, I, I, I just want to rescue a snake and he's just over here like and I could tell he was like not taking care of his snakes in any good condition whatsoever and I went off on him about it but he was still trying stuff and I was like mm, mm. and I was like the only way I'm gonna get out of here is if I just if I just get it over with and uh, <sighs> You had to get it over with, girl. You wait. Hey, sometimes I'm so sorry sometimes you went through that. Yeah. yeah. No, and this dude, really and like this, this dude just didn't know what the fuck he was like. like didn't know what the fuck he was doing when it came to like taking care of snakes or like you know I was taking care. Of when he started with snakes, it's, I thought the story was going. Oh no! Oh no! No! no. But I mean, like, I'm not into that bestiality. <laughs> that's gross. Gross. That's, 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 that's what I thought. I was, I was <laughs> real interested for a second. But this is where is that snake going, girl? Yeah. He was just a bad person. I did it's not like, like him. It's just like such a scary situation. Mm-hmm. You're in a room with well, snakes exactly. and, a man, and a man who wants to fuck you and snakes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ill man and snakes at that, meaning they might not be fed, they might be hungry. Like, right, hungry oh, snakes. Yeah. Hungry snakes and horny men, get out of here! I'm upset. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> hungry snakes, horny men, same thing. <laughs> yeah, those snakes are really, really hungry too. <laughs> For a catfish. <gasps> Sorry, it catfish. was the first What mean, what means that you fell for it? So like fell for a catfish is like, you know, somebody messaging you very much cherry pie like vibes, you know. No, I don't call it that. <laughs> but like messaging you kind of like lying to you, giving you a false kind of story, and then like you finally figure out and you were they, they were exposed for it. So did somebody give you a false story or like, you know, bring you, kind of lead you to a place or, you know, and you found out that they weren't with who they are. They lied maybe and you sent a picture of what they thought they looked like, a nice face doing picture. And then you get there and meet them and they don't look not like that face doing photo. I know I don't So yeah, you know. It was high school days. So I, like there was, that was back when MySpace was the thing. And uh, I was talking to this boy, because on MySpace you used to be able to like search for other gay people and like there was a radius, which was cool. <laughs> but then like we really hit it off and started talking and like we talked for like sh- almost a year and then finally like it was like, all right, we're going to meet, it's summer break, like what's up? And then she like, he, he confessed that he was actually a she and like some big heavy set older woman. Oh. So I was just like, ah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I just like fell in love with this guy and I'm like thinking I'm going to meet him and then like it turns out to be so. Older heavy set woman. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had a MySpace boyfriend for a very long time that died. And it, it, so it was very weird. So, like, he stopped responding to everything. And then eventually I got an email from his brother saying, like, you know, Xavier has actually passed away. And I just, I still to this day, I just wonder. I'm like, did he just decide that he wasn't Xavier no more? Or like, mm-hmm. did he actually pass? And it was like traumatic because like, it's this guy that lives in a different state that I've been pen pals with forever and it's passed away. And it's just like, back then, the internet was wild, so you didn't know. Xavier. Ooh. <laughs> if you're out there, or if you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> Hope all is well. Yeah. 
but not to a, yeah. you know. Yeah. I've never fallen for a catfish, but I did have a man over who then like called me a cat. He thought I was a trans man. Cause I, when I was, I was, I've lost 60 pounds in like the past like few months. Mm -hmm. So I had like, no moans, mm -hmm. just all, you know, giving me a sip. Mm -hmm. And he thought I was a trans man and was literally we were in my room and I said something to him and he was just like, wait, you a nigga? And I was just like, boss. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> On next week's episode of <laughs> Nigga, you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, wait, you a nigga? And I was just like, I mean, I'm every woman. Which like I did I wasn't getting into what he was actually asking, so he was just like, no, like do you have a dick? And I was just like, I mean, I got a pussy too. And it was like not clicking for me. <laughs> and then it was, and then it was uh, like, like, no, I thought you were, I was gonna come over and tear that pussy up. And which was like, oh, you still can. It's really cool. He did, but, <laughs> but he thought I was kind of like that. He thought I was kind of like that. Oh, backstory, that was the same nigga who I was just like, you need to come fuck me. <laughs> So you got fucked by somebody who was expecting a vagina, uh -huh. and so then he treated you like a vagina. Yes, and you what, said, that was "This is how I want to be treated." This is the that was the tea, yeah. Actually, a saga in three parts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, ladies, you don't want you watch Queer Table. Yeah, you start with, from episode one, and then by the time we get to this episode, you learn the full story. Yeah, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about that. If you open the <laughs>
you go for people who are true themselves and really like speak to like who you are and just, you know, are just like, you know, I don't really know how to describe it. Kind of like, like definitely masculine. Oh my goodness. Like I, I bet you, it's like, I don't know how, probably like just ones that are just, you know, honest, open-minded, true to themselves. That's all I can really say. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, it's because I know you, so your boyfriend like really fits you. Like the whole like skater type, like, Alternative, like, is he like, stacked? Like, <laughs> he's the opposite. Okay, <laughs> he's I was out one time. I don't really know. <laughs> I'll show you a picture later. He's <laughs> also like, because I know, like, <laughs> like, he has the money, and it's like not even like a not even like a shallow like that's what you're looking for type of deal but just like you yourself already hold have this high standard for your life so you need someone who's definitely going to match that for you and that's what i've inquired about you absolutely I, I, keep thinking. I just know you like people with fabulous eyebrows <laughs> <laughs> and i know you like people with lovely raven hair no not raven red hair <laughs> yes i do She's i got do a thing for ginger i do my boyfriend is a ginger so i didn't even realize and, i had a thing for ginger but also that <laughs> before that it was very tall yeah men. i like tall men very tall men i like you gotta be a certain uh, height to get on this ride most definitely and i do yeah i have a thing for like ginger short man got the new thing just i, I yeah i have been hit on by some short man and they have definitely made me stutter because yeah. i'm like okay I, I i get it i know you would lay it down but I, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I know, you know, not interested, <laughs> but thank you. And then sometimes I've been like, okay, girl, come on. <laughs> we we'll get you a little boost to see, come on. <laughs> My body is a temple, you know, like I can fit a lot of people. <laughs> come to church, everybody, come to church. Come to church, come to church. Come to church. Yeah. Right, just show up and we will pray. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a king. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a king. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been hit on by somebody twice your age? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think everybody has. Yeah. And how did that make you feel? I've dated people twice my age, so. Well, I think we. It depends, <laughs> you know, it depends on the body. So the body, if the body's right. The body's I think right. it depends on how old I was at the time. Yeah. Mm. True. I have definitely, um, I definitely, I remember I was like 19 years old, 19, 20, and I was, I was talking to a guy who was 45 years old, and I thought, he th but he was obviously a very mature man, and I learned a lot mm -hmm. just, you know, dating him because he had such an established life, and I was young, really trying to establish mine. So, I guess for me, I, I got lucky, but I've heard sometimes like when people date older, you know, the person who thinks that's older things that they can kind of, you know, talk down to the younger mm -hmm. I've never had that experience. So um, my, my experience was good, I felt. Yeah, I had like, we, I think I was probably like 18 or 19 at the time and I was like mid forties. And I was downtown Chicago and he saw me in a store and was like, hey, I would love to take you to dinner. And he's like, Right. <laughs> it's good dinner. Nice you stayed at the Palmer House. I love hotels. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes why not? Yeah. I get hungry, that's why I work. Mm -hmm. I think maybe one other time he came back in town and he was there for the weekend. <laughs> Describe your ideal career in five words or less. Artistic director. Okay. Artistic fun leader, so I, yeah, artistic fun leader. <laughs> I would say fun, fulfilling, and enjoyable. Creative, I don't know, that's my thing I come up with. Creative. Winner of Billy Porter's Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> I want that in my life. I too. <laughs> you want that for me? <laughs> Season two for you. Season two. Oh. <laughs> um. Well, I I like have this weird thing where I always feel jealous. It's like it's because I've been cheated on so many times. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I always have to be alert. Like, yeah. if, there's, if, there's a, if there's someone around that's more attractive than me, I'm alert. And oh, I'd be asleep all the time. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's funny. I'll be getting jealous of people with generational wealth. <laughs> okay, see, okay, okay. okay.